October 7th shook me to my core. And then on October 8th, the unthinkable, people in the streets celebrating Hamas, blaming Israel and saying those slaughtered, raped, and kidnapped people deserved it. And then the denialism and the dehumanization, the delegitimization of Israel's sovereignty. And the calls for intifada made me think how alone the people of Israel must have felt. The world was against these victims of a barbaric, sadistic genocide. I felt compelled to go. My trip to Israel was transformative, bearing witness, hearing personal stories from hostage families, survivors, hospitalized IDF soldiers, made the horror and the trauma very real. I was able to tell them that the people of the United States love them, support them, are praying for them, and are fighting for them. I promised I would share their stories and keep the hostages front of mind. What I did not expect to find on my return home was riotous protests, verbal and physical assaults, calls for the genocide of Jews and the annihilation of Israel on our most prestigious college campuses. And the world was silent. So-called social justice activists have been brainwashed, and Jewish students do not feel safe. We must educate people about the history of Israel and the peace-loving, compassionate, inclusive, resilient Israelis who have lived there for millennia. We must teach the world that anti-Semitism, anti-Zionism is racism. We must help create spaces wherein difficult conversations can be had with open hearts and a focus on the humanity of all people, the exact mission of Stand With Us. We can transform darkness into light through our celebration of life, community, music, and hope by living authentic Jewish lives we can change the world. Am Yisrael Chai.